our lesson children, <laughs> is the word court. This is a very important word because most of the people that I've been running into that are having extremely bad situations end up in some, for, some form of courtship. And so the world of legal has legal courtship. And legal courtship is not spiritual courtship. The world of a lie or fiction needs you to be engaged in something that you could never really be involved in, in the reality. And reality is spirituality. Spirituality is real. We have to be able to uh, understand that. So when we're talking about spiritual, we are talking about truth and we're talking about reality. Uh, everything around us in creation, pine trees, uh, the birds, uh, our, our physical you know, body that was uh, from a creator, those are real, those are spiritual. The world of fiction comes up with a mirrored version in a perverted form um, that's based on a lie. And they need you to believe in this in order to court and date you. So you're being courted and dated into a legal system that is needing you to consent yourself into something that I would call adultery. You're now adulterating your relationship with God and joining into a third party contract with a legal state that is run by Satan. Without you engaging into this in war, not only against your maker, but you're also now in a misconception that you have actually some kind of entitlement to the thing in question, which is this title that already belongs to the party that's calling you into court based on a licensing for you to use this. Now, the problem with most parties that have gone into these courts they're claiming they're not the legal persona using this, which is ridiculous, because if you went back to their bank accounts, driver's licenses, everything they have in their wallet, they're already involved in this. So it's kind of like walking up to someone um, with two guns in your holsters and claiming you're unarmed. It's just beyond bizarre. And I'm going to put an end to this sovereignty free man nonsense theory because it's hurting people and the manures of those that are out there uh, promoting it um, will rob you in that process um, based on their false um, theories that they're going to be able to play in the legal courtship and not pay. If you're courting in their courtship title and claiming it, in anything you're doing right now, you're going to pay to play. Because you're playing the debtor title. Because the surname, as we've said in previous videos, means agnomen, agnomination, a debt, or a debtor. It takes research to find these things out. But it's not by chance that when you're walking into the court, they're always willing to give you a 30-day free trial offer. Even though they say 15 days, it's always 30 under the Bills of Exchange Act. So they're willing to take that chance because they can try all. Because everybody that's in there, they know, is absolutely only licensed for the use of what they are walking around with, speaking in voice with, and therefore they're going to pay. You have to pay the invoice when you state it. It's really, really good occult well, I'm not going to use the word good. I should take that back. So even I make mistakes. I'll say it's a really, really bad spell. But they're using your good to pull it off. Evil can't work a lie without a participating, good, deceived individual energizing it. So you're hosting your own event and no, no ability um, to put in status of anything that would end up in their world um, as an affidavit is going to work because all the terminologies we're talking about, affidavit of status that people are filing, these are only legal terminologies. Therefore, 
you're trying to do something that won't work because you're in the sandbox of the legal, which is run by the lawyers. And the lawyers have been under this spell for a long time, and they know how to court and date you on a regular basis. It's called a 30-day free trial offer, and they will try all. So, uh, you can try to outwit this, but when you're in their courtship of legal, and you are walking in, giving up your unalienable position to be the surety of something lienable, you're trying to actually be Christ with your given name. And that just is not how it works. You cannot be the surety for something of evil nature or sin. There is only one spirit individual that came down to do that, and he's already got that, and he tells you you're supposed to be separate, which is private, not public. But you keep on walking into public forums, trying to act as a surety for something that is adulterous. It just is going to backfire on you, and it could lead to serious ramifications, like jail sentence. And like some of the things that have now been released on the press, um, with some individuals who thought they were going to fight, basically, um, some of the medical legislation that has gone out there under the Emergency Act. So you've got to be very careful uh, where you're going when you start walking down trails uh, with half knowledge or partial knowledge, it will backfire on you because they know they've got the cards in the legal in their favor. So therefore, um, Adam walking in with the last name Smith is just said, I'm Adam, a private guy trespassing on the public title Smith which means a debtor, a debtor, and therefore they've got Adam saying, and uh, being a ventriloquist, speaking into, like a snake, okay, to tell a lie, and actually act as the debtor for something that could never be without your voice, and without your consent, and without your signature, and without your picture. I hope people are getting the picture on this scenario, that it's not going to work out good for you, when you're doing something that's energizing something evil. You are the power that is actually causing your own, basically, injury. So, uh, take this video slowly. Um, I put these words up the way I did on this, uh, so that you would be able to look up these words, court. Look up the word ship. Because you are not the ship but you are definitely the carrier of what that ship is trying to put on you. <laughs> so they're planning on having you carry disease, diseasement, and stress. Not by chance that the records that the parents filled out at the hospital, the, all the 60s and 1970s uh, birth records, at least under the Ontario jurisdiction, the statement of birth record, they underlined all the surnames. Um, they were telling you what was overhead, and they needed you to be the seed capital to run it, so you would have the stress. <laughs> they needed someone to bill. Without your given name, they got no one to bill, because those last names are just variables. Anybody could have them. But when you energize it with a given name, you've just said, I consent. And that means you're part of this evil membership run by evil lawyers who are channeling with the devil, by chance called the Devil's Advocates, and by chance have a book in England called the Book of Deviling. Uh, I think we better educate ourselves on what we're dealing with in the forum uh, that we're experiencing. So, no, if, we're, uh, if I'm talking before lawyers right now, I'm not your friend. Um, you're fiends, and uh, you may be uh, friends or fiends amongst yourselves, but I'm not your friend because you work in fiction and a lie and I work in truth. So I'm here to help people spiritually. I'm not here to help people legally. Uh, if you want to keep on adding vice uh, to your dilemma, go to a lawyer. They'll be there all day long billing you for it.